Did you see Activision is suing Anthony Fantano for the right to use a sound of his in an ad without paying him? Activision is suing a TikTok music critic for alleged scheme to demand legal settlements over meme. I like how they're calling him a TikTok music critic. The game company claims Anthony Fantano is misusing intellectual property laws by threatening to sue TikTokers over a widely memed audio clip. Video game... Video game giant Activision is suing a prominent TikTok music critic over a viral audio clip that he created, claiming he is unfairly demanding that some of the social media users pay him an extortionate settlement after they reuse the heavily memed clip. Wow, the title had me believing something entirely different. I thought it was Activision suing Anthony Fantano so they could use his shit in their ads. That doesn't seem to be the case. In a complaint filed Monday in California, Activision accused Anthony Fantano of misusing intellectual property laws by threatening to selectively sue TikTokers who use Enough Slices, a popular audio clip that originated with a video Fantano posted in 2021. Activision, which says it receives such a threat after it used the clip in a promotion for its Crash Bandicoot franchise, claims that Fantano intentionally made the clip available through TikTok's audio library, meaning he cannot now sue the hundreds of thousands of users that choose to use it. This dispute is a textbook example of how intellectual property law can be misused by individuals to leverage unfair cash payments, Activision's lawyer wrote. Fantano was very happy to receive the benefit of the public use of the Slices video. It was only after he identified a financial opportunity, namely receiving unjustified settlement payments, that he, su that he suddenly decided that his consent was limited. This law does not permit, and the court should not uh, counten countenance, such overt gamesmanship. Whoa. Thanks the Prime Trip and Butter. This was not the situation I thought it was from just reading the headline. That is interesting. If you make something available through the TikTok audio library, I'm very unfamiliar with the platform, does that just waive your right to enforce, like, IP law on it? Probably. That's how it works on YouTube if you submit something through the YouTube audio library. That means it's now free for anyone to use if I remember correctly. Makes sense. It's like a public audio repository. Well, what I want to know if, if on TikTok, do things just enter the TikTok's audio library by default just by posting? Because I know they have that like original sound shit and it goes to the source and it's like fucking Bumblefuck Joe over here is the one that created it. But it's not like he did it on his own accord. TikTok auto generated it. Yeah, at least I think that's how it works, right? You have to make it a sound through a video. Oh, so you do have to, like, say, I want this in the audio library by making it a sound. Okay, gotcha. I, I didn't know if it was automatic or not. That's a very interesting case. Is it So, has Fantano done this to other TikTok creators, or is it just Activision? And if it isn't, if it is other creators and not just Activision, I wonder what the legal ground is for using it in an official ad. Because it'd be different if it's just like, you know, fucking Carl Hamburger using Anthony Fantano's meme in a TikTok versus Activision using it in an official ad. Thanks to the Bits sister and the Prime Shroon. Only way I think Fantano has a case is if someone else uploaded his video audio to the library. True. Maybe. Oh, through Matt Beachy? From a long time ago? Is that what that was? Thanks to Resub Grease and the Prime UB. Yeah, I haven't heard about that in a while. Hope you guys are doing alright. I think he's going after other companies. Has he won against the other companies? Because if he has, then this should be an easy slam dunk. Fantano, a popular internet creator, reviews music, generates his views. 
In his lawsuit, Activision says there's an obvious reason why this clip was used so widely. Fantano deliberately and knowingly added the audio to TikTok's library, making it easily available for millions of other users to incorporate into their own videos. They say he even opted into the commercial sounds library, which means he agreed his clip could be legally used in promotional videos and brands. That sounds like a dagger if that's true. That sounds like it's open and shut if that's the case, if that's real. Because I was going to say, like, there, well, and I did say, there is a difference between just this fucking 14-year-old is using this meme clip on TikTok, but then a giant company uses that same meme clip in their ad. It's It, it still is different. But if he opted into the commercial sounds, that seems like he waived all rights on that. I don't know how, I don't know how he'd win this case. He's a tier one goofy goober. The company says it was surprised when it received a legal threat from Fantano after it used enough slices in a TikTok video depicting the creation of custom Crash Bandicoot sneakers. He allegedly told the gaming giant the use of his clip not only used his name and likeness rights without permission, but also violated federal trademark laws by suggesting he had endorsed the company's games. Which is a real thing. You can't do that. But if it was made readily available on the Commercial Sounds library, I don't know how you're supposed to argue that you didn't give your permission. That's what this is for, I imagine. This is what it's for on every other platform. Maybe it's different on TikTok. This is very interesting. What an, what an odd case. Activision says it agreed to pull the clip down, but Fantano demanded the company either immediately pay him substantial monetary damages or be prepared to defend a lawsuit. The exact amount of money demanded was not included in the lawsuit, but Activision says Fantano asked for a six-figure sum and said that other companies had paid a similar sum in order to avoid the expense of litigation. What the fuck? On his Dr. Evil grind... One billion dollars. That's a that's a crazy threat right there against a billion dollar company. Hey, I'm always rooting for the little guy here. I, I don't know how you're supposed to somehow argue that what they did is illegal and violated federal trademark laws if it was knowingly agreed upon to enter the commercial sounds library. That seems like it's an uphill battle, but... I mean, that maybe there's more to it. This is right now just Activision's lawyer. Has Fantano says any, has Fantano said anything about this? With Fantano's approval and encouragement, hundreds of thousands of TikTok users have incorporated Slice's audio into their videos over the past two years. But now Fantano has embarked on a scheme whereby he selectively threatens to sue certain users of the Slice's audio unless they pay him extortionate amounts of money for their alleged use. Huh. You'd have to look at what TikTok's commercial sound library actually is. Here, I'll look it up. Let me see. <clears throat> the commercial music library from the TikTok's ad manager. Let's see. What is the Commercial Music Library? The Commercial Music Library, or the CML, is a collection of 500,000 plus sounds worldwide sourced from emerging artists in top tier music houses across various styles. Wait, this is, is this right? No, the Commercial Sounds Library, not music. Hold on. I don't see anything for commercial sounds library, only commercial music. Oh, in order to get it there, you, it, oh, it, it's called commercial sounds. Even in the own post, commercial sounds. But it's listed as the commercial music library. <laughs> I, okay, I see. So th this is it, this is, this is correct. CML features commercial sounds, both with and without lyrics, whatever. Who can use the commercial music library? It's for TikTok users that use TikTok for marketing, advertising, sponsorships, endorsements, or publicity, including official brand accounts, their promotional partners and creators, NGOs, and government organizations. You can also use the commercial music library for organic and paid content. 
This sounds like it's kaput. If it was uploaded there by Fantano, it, I think it's probably checkmate. There's the prime Kato, the Risa Mustachio, and Rotted. <laughs> yes, sir, lawyer critical. Hey, man, it's just basic reading comprehension. If I uploaded me saying, you know, woo, yeah, baby, to the commercial library, I can't exactly be upset if all these brands start using it. I can't then start looking for compensation. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. <laughs> I literally cannot. Do you agree that your sound can be used by brands, marketing, endorsement, sponsorships, and all of that? Yes. Okay. And now I don't. I've changed my mind. You can't. Why? Because you signed. It's here. You put it here. It's literally the Spongebob scene of, is this your wallet? <laughs> I'm in Man Ray's trying to return the wallet to Patrick. Was the advert also on TikTok? Apparently, yes. According to this, it was a TikTok video they made about Crash Bandicoot that used the sound. Uh, where was it? Yeah, here. So it even stayed on the TikTok ecosystem. I think Danny's right. I think he'd have to prove that he wasn't the one that uploaded it to the commercial sound library. I don't know. I don't know how else he'd win. Even then, that wouldn't be on Activision. Them taking it down at his request would have been more than enough. True. That would be true. They would have no idea that it wasn't him, but instead his evil twin that uploaded it. I mean, you're not wrong. And they t they did take it down. They just said, oh, "Okay, we'll take it down." And now they have to defend themselves against a, a lawsuit, or they have to defend themselves against legal threats, and are now issuing a lawsuit as a counter. Why are they suing TikTok? Well, I think it has to go through TikTok. It's on, on there. Wait, what are you saying? Why are they suing TikTok? Are you talking about this last sentence? Activision is seeking a so-called declaratory... De Jesus. Declaratory ruling that Fantano cannot sue TikTok users over the clip. They're saying that Fantano can't go after anyone that uses the clip because they're well within their rights to. Since he waived the rights by putting it on that commercial library. I'm confused. This trial about Fant... Okay. Uh, here's a little advice to all of these publications writing articles about this. Change the, change the title. This title has confused everybody. Actually, reading through the case is very different. In a nutshell, Anthony Fantano had a very popular clip, a uh, meme clip, which was entered into the commercial music library, commercial sound library, whatever, on TikTok. Uh, it, it became usable, so a lot of people used it on TikTok, including Activision. And when Activision used it, and Tan Anthony Fantano threatened them, forced them to take it down, which they did, and then said, "If you don't pay me a six-figure sum, allegedly, then you're going to have to defend them. You're going to have to defend yourself in court." And then apparently also said, "Other companies have paid a sum uh, to avoid this." So now Activision is suing, saying, no, you can't do that. You uploaded this to the commercial sound library, meaning anyone can use this, including companies. And Activision's right. It's literally in the exact terms on TikTok that the commercial music library is usable by any brand, any user, anything for any purpose. You consent to that being used anywhere when it is uploaded there. I don't know how he I don't know how he would win this one. But I'm no Activision fan, so if he squeaks out a dub from this, that'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> that would be wild. I have no idea how he'd do it. I don't even think Saul Goodman could pull this one off, but if he somehow did, that would be unreal. That is a good point, actually. Okay. You 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 made a good point, Otaku. <laughs> Cool name as well, I guess. It'd fuck everyone else by letting him win and set a precedent that you could pull your agreement after making it. That would be actually pretty dangerous. If Fantano does win, he sets the precedent that even if you upload your sounds to the commercial sounds library, meaning you waive the right and anyone can use it for any reason without compensation, if he does win, that means anything uploaded there is fair game for a lawsuit if you use it. That's a very good point. <laughs> That's very true. That would be bad. Unless it's just the commercial use he has a problem with, which he literally can't. 
because under the commercial sounds terms, it can be used for anything, including paid content and ads for companies. So he can he literally cannot have a problem with it. He's not allowed. Has one of these blanketed, you uploaded it, now it's ours agreement's been tested in court? That's a really weird way of reducing this. This isn't just like he uploaded this video onto TikTok and then it got used out of his control. Apparently it was uploaded to this service, the commercial music library, which isn't just him uploading a TikTok and it getting used. This is a legitimate program where anything in there is supposed to be used and is allowed to be used. YouTube has one as well. I'm pretty sure Twitch also has one too for music. But I don't know if it's been tested in court because it's I don't think it's ever been an issue. Thanks for your sub fell. Did he upload it to the CML or someone else? That's what he'd have to prove. I, I think the only way he wins is if he proves it wasn't him that uploaded it to the CML. 